Felix, you are the DOP of the Austrian movie The Brother. Yes. Which we saw together. Yes. And it was interesting. Uh, I have a couple of questions. Um, if you can, if you would like to, I would like to um, hear from you like a, a, a short, a brief description of the story of the movie. And then we might talk about the other stylistic choices that you mm -hmm. made uh, with filming and stuff. Yes. Yeah. Um, the brother, yes. It's about uh, uh, two siblings who had, um, had a... Or there was an... No, let's begin. <laughs> Again, from the beginning. No, it's about uh, two siblings who have their sister tried to commit suicide in their childhood, and Heinrich um, commented on that suicide, and uh, a guilt become started for the parents why Heinrich and Susanne hate them each other so much, and fighting all the time. And they never coped with this suicide and the comment on that. And now in the movie starts with this letter um, the father of Heinrich is written, write, writing to his dead wife and ask himself about this suicide comment and so and why they how I already said hate each other that much. And then Heinrich um, his father dies. And Heinrich and Susanne have to come together again because they are apart and cope with this situation and the guilt of Heinrich because Heinrich feels really guilty about it, um, what happened back then. And now he has to cope with what happened and he wants to solve this problem more or less and maybe come back together again after 30 years or 40 years, yes. Nice, and it's interesting how the movie starts. Uh, the intro of the movie is basically uh, images, still images with text, and the text is a letter that is being written that we understand at the end of the first act, so to say, that yes. chapter. So, and I'm curious about the kind of artistic decision behind this kind of style of mm -hmm. starting the movie and telling part of the story with text and still images. You as a DOP, you take on it, and how was it to discuss it with the director and so yes. on? Yes, I think most it started with Jerry's idea and the idea in the script, with doing to tell this story or this first part of the story, um, and to get all the information what happened back then, as more or less let's say um, a, a, a sh um, flashback, but written in this letter. And he don't want to go on this way, on this film grammar way, like everyone is doing this with a voiceover. So he actually wanted to be written, and then he came up with this idea that this written thing is like on screen. You can read it, but see the, the pictures of it, and that you have your own imagination to get there. I think this is what we embraced to go there, to, have the, to get a feeling of the house and where they have been and where all this happened. And, and yeah, we had a lot of discussion about that. Uh, and in the ending, I think he had made the right choice to, to embrace it like this right to be written. And yeah, I think it's a different style than how I said the film grammar works. Yeah, so it feels like the, the style of te telling the story this way, visually and with the text, is also intrinsic to, intrinsic to the content itself. So it works yes. with it, because it's also a letter. Yes. So that's really interesting. Um, what kind of challenges uh, did you have when you were producing the movie or maybe when you were uh, preparing for the production? Mm -hmm. uh, technically, with the resources and stuff, how was it? Was it smooth? I don't suppose that. I think, I think one of or two of the um, hardest thing to cope with was the first one is, is shot in Jerry's uh, childhood house, and so we have all to bring all the team, all the technical stuff to his house. It's uh, on the border between Germany and Austria. This was the major one thing to bring everything there, and the other thing I remember I think was the hardest to cope with was the weather because we really wanted this sunny um, summer day feeling inside the house because it really happens there in the afternoon. And I think we had six days of shooting and five or four of them were always rain. So we had to light up the situation to be like it would be. And the, uh, for me, the most um, um, 
uh, how say the um, thing was then when his dad see our lighting setup and he was like wow it's looking like every summer day in the afternoon but he knows it's raining outside it, for it, this was great to see that we achieved this realistic um, summer afternoon I was really flattered about that. <laughs> you told me that you are um, a film student currently and you did this movie during your studies, right? Yes. Uh, in what ways do you think this movie has, making this movie has contributed to your knowledge? Uh, did you learn new stuff uh, in case yes, what? Uh, and what do you take from this production with mm -hmm. you in the future? Yeah, I think, I think every movie you, you get experience and learn something and how to uh, solve problems and um, yeah what, what was really special about I think um, let's see um, I, the, the first thing is really from the beginning that this works so much I think this is something I in the beginning I would say no don't do it that way but then afterwards now I learned a lot of that and gained experience and yeah second Thing was to to do this shot when he is in the barrel because we we had to bring something up to do that I think this is a technical thing I learned about it and yeah always to to manage a team I think I, I've learned there a lot and a lot of myself how I do it and also because I came from lightning department um, to stop doing the lighting stuff and let the technicians work <laughs> Nice. Um, do, do you have any kind of future project you are thinking to work on in, with or during your studies at the school or outside the school? Uh, in what ways you would like to develop your career as a cinematographer? Yes, of course. Um, at the moment I'm working or in pre-production for the next short film. We are shooting in the end of September and at the moment I'm doing my masters and with these films I hope I get uh, I can get more experience and um, people to see in these movies to become a cinematographer afterwards. And I think, yeah, this is the way at the moment, and one is in the pipeline. So, in the VFX post production at the moment, right now. Good luck. Okay. How has your experience been so far here at Westeros and Nordic Star Film Festival? Oh, it was beautiful. Okay. I, I really liked it. Um, I arrived yesterday and had a really good weather conditions in Stockholm and loved to see the filming uh, the films and had beautiful screenings I think and interesting short films and doc documentaries so yeah I'm looking forward for tonight and tomorrow yeah you're welcome and I hope you enjoy the rest of your time here thank you thank Thanks. you